Hello, welcome to the new video from City and Kits Brass. Uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how to set up our sublimation printer. Uh, this one is from the Eco Tank range, it's the L382. So I'm going to show you exactly uh, what you're going to get for your money. Uh, so this is what you will receive. So you have our flyer uh, with uh, some video links to YouTube for all the popular uh, photo softwares on the market for uh, basically for loading your ICC profiles and uh, doing your prints. And then we have some basic instructions here with just some uh, do's and don'ts and some, some common errors uh, and our support contact details. We also have uh, a Windows a Windows setup guide, uh, just a bit about sublimation printing, ICC profiles, changing your setup if you're going from one brand to another, uh, and then just some basic uh, FAQs about colours and things like that. And then on the reverse side, uh, we have the same details for Mac printers. So you have a pack of A4 RA4 sublimation paper, uh, which basically 100 sheets uh, in this pack. You probably, if you were doing mugs, you'd get uh, two mugs, two or three mugs out of a sheet if you're lucky. Uh, so yeah, you could do two or three hundred mugs with this pack. So I'm going to take the printer out now, uh, and basically we're just going to set it up. This is a power lead. We have some uh, micro funnels for filling the system up. Four hundred mil sublimation ink, one hundred mil of each colour. Uh, Four hundred mil is capable of doing up to two thousand mugs, uh, so it's quite a bit of ink there. A USB cable. A roll of heat proof tape and all our ICC profiles step by step PDF guides. So you have uh, the video sheet uh, with step by step video guides, and we also have PDF uh, instructions on the disc. Also, if you need a custom ICC profile, all of the, de all of the details and guides you need are on this. So I'm going to take the printer out from the box and we'll uh, proceed to set it up. So this is the uh, Epson drivers. You probably won't need the manual for that, but you will need the driver disc. So remove the blue packaging tape, this will allow the head to move. Any, basically any blue tape you see, you should remove. It's all packaging tape. So the benefit of uh, using the eco tank system as opposed to our, uh, to our other system, is that the uh, the ink system is already built in so there's no uh, no chip recording of this everything is actually made by Epson uh, sits the reservoir sits nicely on the side uh, ink levels this ink levels displaying here uh, so as you can see it, it's just a, a lot better made unit for sublimation printing with this kind of printer so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to fill the reservoirs up. But I think what I might do first I might switch it on. Uh, 
we'll plug it in and, and then we will have to charge it charge it with the inks but what I'm going to do I'm going to fill it up first actually so you should fill it up now to fill the reservoir up just lift it off like this and open the reservoir and then lay it flat some more packaging here look take this up And then we're going to put the ink in. So taking the little funnel, we're just going to pop these, pull these off. Put the little funnel in and then pour the ink in <coughs> slowly. So the reservoir will hold around 70ml of ink. What you can see actually on the side here, you can see a fill line just here. There's a fill line on the reservoir. Let's just move this camera back a bit. So you can see the fill line is on here. So we're just going to pour the ink in until we get to towards the fill line but it will hold 70 ml of ink. So I'll come back to the bottles in a minute. I'm just going to take the funnel out, pop it in the top of the bottle and pull that to one side for a second. So make sure you put it out of the way, uh, if, especially with it not having it, a lid on, or put the funnel on some tissue uh, and then put the cap straight on. There's nothing worse than knocking a bottle of ink over. So you can save your funnels for the next time if you have to top the system up again. <coughs> now as you can see with this system. So one thing to watch out for, you can just see the little bubble on the top. You need to get rid of that bubble. So quite often you can either poke it with something or just blow on it. <laughs> yeah, so the bubble, just by blowing on it, the bubble's gone. So if you don't get rid of the bubbles, uh, it could get quite messy. So as you can see, some of the benefits of this is uh, straight out of the box, straight into setup. Uh, no, no attaching of parts to the printer. No ink lines, no clips, no reservoirs to to fit. It's just an all-in-one self-contained unit. And the other good thing about these ones is that the, <coughs> the ink levels are not monitored. Uh, so it won't stop halfway through a print job and tell you it's run out of ink. Or you need to stop and reset one colour and then five minutes later the other colour runs out and you need to reset that. Uh, so you will just be able to continue to print, print, print on this of course you'll need the ink in your reservoir so what it will actually do uh, it will actually charge the entire system uh, and then these ink levels will go down you could top them back up after if you want but I would probably wait uh, wait until it needs a refill in the future so you just take that out and then what you need to do you need to make sure that these plugs are back in fully 
because you're going to tip it back up the other way so you just need to check that they're in before you do this pull that up and then it just attaches on the side so you can visually see the ink levels in the side so now all we need to do now is we just need to plug it in uh, and install the driver so it will go through I think it takes about 10 minutes I'm not going to keep the video uh, going for that long just to see it charging because you won't really be able to see anything so all I'm doing now uh, I'm just I'm just going to plug the printer in So this isn't a wireless printer, it's a USB only. The wireless printers from Epson tend to be a lot more expensive. Then we're going to power it on. And then we'll take the uh, the driver disc and we'll pop that in the PC and uh, let's just get this in. Right, so the light has come on here to charge. So with that, if you've got the Epson driver disc in, you can press the buttons that way to set it up. But for here, now I'm just going to press and hold that for a second, three seconds. And what it's going to do now is it's going to charge the entire system. It will take about five or ten minutes. When it's done, you are finished. Uh, the whole system is set up. Uh, and then all you need to do then is, is then open your open all read the guides and instructions get your software up and uh, and start printing so as you can see with this it's really simple uh, there's no mess at all no messing around of attaching parts uh, and that's it basically so I'm now going to proceed to installing the drivers uh, and then we're going to do some printing but that's it it was just a quick video to uh, explain how easy it is and some of the benefits of using the eco tank system for your sublimation printing and that's our latest video from City Ink Express. Thank you.